Hey, guitar freaks, Mark the Guitar Guy here, and it is Wednesdays, and we're starting our very brand new series on the electric guitar. So we did a little bit last time, we were jammed a little bit and, and showed off and stuff. So we thought, where are we gonna start, start out to make it really easy for you guys out there that are first introduced to the electric guitar? So what we thought we'd just talk about is the differences between acoustic guitar and electric guitar. I mean, there's obvious differences. One is electric and one is acoustic, but then you've got acoustics that you can plug in, and so what's the point of electric guitar? So we thought we'd talk about that today and outline the differences, and I've got a few different examples here, but we'll get into that sort of stuff as we go through these lessons. So, the differences. Well, the main differences is if when you're playing electric guitar as opposed to acoustic guitar, you feel all the differences straight away. The strings generally are lighter. They're a lighter gauge because they don't need as much volume because we have um, because we have pickups that do all the work of a sound hole because normally in a guitar we have the sound hole that does all the work and we need strings to be nice and heavy. So we have thinner strings and because the strings are thinner that allows us to do things like bends like so we have to get this all in here. And vibrato, that sort of thing as well. So I get to... So you can do that sort of stuff like that's so easy to do. Those bottom three strings, they're just a little bit lighter. And you can even you can bend all the other strings as well. So bending and vibrato, the two things you can get a lot more out of. The other things are with the electric guitar is because you've got um, not so much of, uh, it, it's very responsive, you can crank the distortion up, which is what I've got at the moment. There's a bit of crunch going on there. So if I go even for a clean sound, here's my clean sound. It's got a different sound altogether and you can also do lots of varieties with the toggle switch varying on which pickup you use. So at the different parts of the guitar, we've got a different sound. At the moment, I've got the sound, I've got it on the up pickup, which is this one here, to the neck pickup. It's got a warmer tone. And kind of a warm tone. If I go to the middle, I've got kind of a more of a rounded tone. this particular guitar and then if I go for the, 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 by the way that one in the middle was a combination between the two pickups and if I go all the way to the treble pickup which is the one right against the bridge it's got a harsh sharp tone but it cuts through if you've got a band or something like that it cuts through really well you've got like that sort of stuff sounds really cool or if you crank the distortion it's got a, like a good like a Got a kind of rock. Got a kind of cool tone with it. So all these things you can get with, obviously, with distortion and different tones and stuff as well. So obvious differences, strings. So the strings make a huge difference with the electric and the acoustic guitar. Now, the other thing is with those, you already notice, when I'm playing power chords, I'm playing these sort of things called, that sort of sounding chords. Which is just two notes, pretty much. It's two notes, and they have a distortion on them, which is like a, a driven sound, a driven amplifier sound, which gives it that sort of that tone that just lasts forever. With good guitars, you can have the sustain going in and going and going like that is right now. I love that. I love that. And it's um, real fun to play with. And um, the other thing also you've noticed straight away is I've got a lot of variety. I don't just have the sound of the guitar as it is. I can use all these different knobs and switches and things down here to change what's going on. Okay, for this example, I've got um, two pickups and they both, in this case, have uh, volume. So if I'm using that pickup, here's the volume for that pickup. No volume, I can, I can bring the volume on. And with that, I can change and have a lot of variety. I can use, have full on volume which gives me a lot of crunch. So if I'm playing a solo or something, I might, might want full volume. But then when the band's playing, I might just want to play some chords. I just back off a little bit and... I want my solo. And I can back right off again. You might just want to use it for that, or it can actually change the tone as well, because you've got a lot of drive and gain by having the volume on full. By backing off, I get more of a clean tone. It, that's no change with the actual effects and stuff. So that's the volume. And you can also, you've also got tone. So it's on full at the moment, which is the sharpest version of it. And I'll put on a clean tone just so you can hear that. And if I back that off, more of a muffled sound. You might think, why would I use that? But it's quite handy for, for certain things. Sounds 
quite nice with a little bit of that sort of stuff, or if I've got distortion on, it sounds quite good. If I bring it on. So there's the tone on. Completely off. You might recognise. done with that, the tone right off, it takes it off. So you can go in the middle, so you get a bit of both. So there's all that variety, and then you can flick through these different settings, like you might want to go to the to the bottom, pick to this pickup here, the bridge pickup, which is the sharper tone, and you've got volume for that, and you've got, in this case, on this guitar, tone for that as well, same thing. So all these varieties and combinations you've got as well, not just with a, like with an acoustic guitar, you generally you've just got the sound of the acoustic guitar. Sure, if you've got it one that plugs in, you, can, might, you might be able to change it a little bit. Um, the, the other benefits of having an electric guitar. And it's got a totally different tone to it than an acoustic guitar. I mean, it's not just an acoustic guitar that's louder. It really is a totally different instrument. And it's played differently. And the other thing is when you play an electric guitar, it feels different. Like already there's things I've got to worry about that are in the way when I'm strumming, where I put my hand is different, where I sit my hand is different, how it sits on my lap is very different, the guitar necks themselves, every single guitar has a different feel to it and all these things come into consideration. So when you're, uh, if you're choosing a guitar for yourself and we'll get right into those sorts of things, that's another thing to consider. What do I want out of an electric guitar? Um, what do I want it to sound like? How do I want it to feel? Try some different ones. Some guitars want to be played a lot more than others, but, um, but you notice already there's a lot of differences as soon as you sit down and play an electric guitar. So they, it's the same as an acoustic in a lot of ways, like 90% of the stuff you do on acoustic guitar you can apply to um, electric guitar, but there's just a few things that don't work on on both. I mean, I, I think I compare it to driving a car. You sit in the drive, you drive your car like normal, you jump in somebody else's car to go drive it, you've got to think about it a little bit more because it's not the natural one you're used to um, driving or if it's a bike you're riding or whatever it is that you're used to using or even a computer. Something's a little bit different, you've got it feels a bit different, a little bit clunky at first and then you settle in and you can get used to it. So and that's the same with an electric guitar. The right hand though, and we always go on about this with the guitar, the right hand is actually where a lot of this stuff comes from. And of course, I always talk about that all the time in my bloody lessons. Um, and the right is actually the most important part of with the electric guitar because that's where our attack comes from. And it's totally different. It's cheap, not totally different, that's not true. It's very subtly different actually, the differences between acoustic and electric guitar. But a couple adjustments and we can get you sounding absolutely amazing. So there we have it, That's some ideas of what the differences are between an electric guitar and an acoustic guitar. And the next video, what we're gonna do is look at the different types of electric guitars there are. And we're gonna have a little bit of a play around and have some fun with the different types that I've got in the background here. And that should be a really good fun lesson. Hey, this is your channel and this is your, uh, this is your chance right now to let me know what you wanna get out of these electric guitar lessons for Wednesday. So jump down below, go in the comments, let me know, hey Mark, I really wanna know about Cool power chords, or I really want to know about bends, or I want to, I want to know about soloing, or what do I do? I'm playing in a band, but I just feel like it's different and that sort of thing. We'll be covering all those things, but if you let me know, please do that below. Can't wait to see you guys next for the next lesson, and looking forward to seeing you again for the next session we do on the electric guitar with Wednesdays. All right, Mark the Guitar Guy signing off. Catch you later.